my channel. This is Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a little reminder before I get started, I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button below and then you'll get a notification every time I post a new wig related video or hair loss chat video, vlog, whatever, uh, you'll get a notification for that. And also, after you watch the video, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up, a like. So today I am wearing the absolutely beautiful Ellen Villa Touch, which is from the 2019 Changes collection. And the color on her is Tobacco Rooted. So Tobacco Rooted is listed as one of their brunettes, <laughs> but I have to say, she's got a lot of blonde in her. So um, her actual numbers are 12, 26, 27. So um, she's definitely got some blonde highlights and things like that. So I'll get into her color in just a moment. So just to start off, I will do a spin for you and then we'll get into all of her specs. So very, very pretty cut. I love the way she lays. She is definitely wavy, but not curly. So, um, you know, she just has a very gentle wave going through her as you can really see that here. Um, but not curly curly. So just something to note about her. Um, she's very light and airy. The fibers have a very fine denure. So they just kind of fall, um, you know, really pretty into the different layers that are in the wig. And she's just very pretty and extremely comfortable. She is so lightweight. So let me do a turn. So here is my right side. The back very pretty in the back but again you can see it's just a wave not a tight curl so left side and then back to the front so her specs as far as her measurements are she has 10 inch sides she's 10 inches from the crown she has a 10 inch nape what else is 10 and she has a 10 inch bang so I've looked on several sites and I went directly to the Ellen Villa site to look at the measurements because I'm like, she's got more than that. She's got layers going throughout. So I think that the 10 inch for the sides must be going truly from the side because I'm getting, I'm getting some measurements of like from the crown, you know, 15 inches and things like that. And the nape measurement back here, she goes, you know, 10 inches from the nape. So um, just know that she is layered, but everywhere I looked and including on the Ellen Villa site, I was just getting 10, 10, 10, and 10. And then her weight is about 3.9 ounces. So she's lightweight. And I'm surprised she weighs 3.9 to be honest. She is, she feels like she weighs an ounce. <laughs> I mean, she is light, lightweight, very, very comfortable wig. I just have been, I don't know, I just put her on and I told my husband, I had her on the other day and I was like, I forget I'm wearing hair with this wig. And I love that because as someone who has to wear a wig every single day, it's nice to have one that just feels like it melts into my head and I don't have to worry about it. Now, since this is an Ellen Villa wig, the cap is considered to be petite average. So that's something to keep in mind. I have a 21 inch circumference and there's enough room for you to stretch up to 22 inches, I think, comfortably. Um, but beyond 22 inches, I, I don't think is gonna work. Now, I did have to cinch her up just a little bit. They do stretch along, you know, around the perimeter, around the circumference, but it is considered petite average. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're looking at her, you know, and, and thinking about purchasing her. Think about what your circumference is. Um, ear to ear, I'm 11. Forehead to nape, I'm a 13. So, and she's fitting me pretty, pretty well. So, like I said, I just had to take her in just a little bit with each adjuster. So, let's look at her lace front here. Lace front is really, really nice. I mean, especially with the lighter highlight that goes through this tobacco rooted, you know, the lace front is just, it's just invisible. It's fabulous. I'm super happy with it. And it is extended, so it, it extends down to here which is really nice uh, for that. And then you have a left side mono part, so you have that appearance of scalp. Again, it looks very natural. The way that the, um, it is rooted, which is nice, so you don't have like a stripey effect there at the part, which I really, really like. 
So just really, really pretty. Um, as far as this color, like I said, this is Tobacco Rooted. Tobacco Rooted is listed in their brunettes, but it is a 12, 26, 27. So it is gonna be one of the lightest of their brunette colors. So the description that's given for Tobacco Rooted is that it is a medium brown root, which you can see. And whenever I pull it up here, you, you know, underneath here, you can see that medium brown that's in the wig. But then there's also going through it, there is a lighter brown, and then there is a light honey blonde with a kind of blend with an auburn. So um, I don't see the auburn so much. We'll see when we go outside if they reflect a little more. I can see what they're saying. There's just a very slight little kind of strawberry blonde that I pick up every once in a while in there, but it's not super obvious, so I would not categorize this as one that reflects a lot of auburn. So, but it is, you know, when I write, whenever you see the underneath, you're like, oh yeah, it is a brunette, but that's the rooting color. It just gets lighter as it goes out of the wig. So very, very pretty, but you know, definitely a lighter brunette um, and almost a blonde. <laughs> I mean, I think it's, I guess that wouldn't be a dirt, you wouldn't describe that as a dirty blonde. That's definitely a medium brown under there. But then I think it almost goes into like a dirty blonde. So, but just, I mean, it's a pretty color. I really like it. It's got a lot of dimension, uh, very pretty. I love the highlights are placed so nicely. Just like if you went to the salon and they put highlights in your hair, they would, you know, frame around your face. And then they just are very, they just gently go through, you know, the whole wig but just a really, really pretty color. So we'll take her outside in a minute. We can look at the color outside in the natural light and you'll probably be able to see, you know, a better reflection of those, all those colors. So let me pop her off. We can look at the inside of the cap here. So, as I said, she has that extended lace front, which is really nice. So you have nice lace front coverage there that goes down, you know, to the temple goes, you know, stretches down like halfway down that ear tab, which is nice. You have that left side mono part, you have closed lace. I can't find any permatease in this wig. So there is some closed lace there, but not because there's teasing. It's very low density, very natural, pretty density. So you've got the velvety soft covered ear tabs and they have a nice metal stay, good size piece of metal in there. You've got the Velcro adjusters and extended nape, which is nice. Those are my favorite kind of adjusters. And then open wefting all through the cap. I think this would be a great style, a great synthetic for the warmer months because she is so light and so airy. And I don't think that she would be, you know, too warm to wear in the summer. So I'm looking forward to, you know, checking her out, testing her out in the summer. So give her a little comb here. So. Okay, very pretty. Let's go outside and we can look at this tobacco rooted outside in the natural light. Okay, so we're outside with this Ellen Villa Touch in tobacco rooted and it's a cloudy day here. So I think I can just be out in the sun, you know, out in the light the entire time. But you can see those blondes. You can see that, you know, that, that it starts with that darker medium brown root, but then goes into a lighter brown, brown and those um, honey blonde and auburn highlights. Very pretty. And it's a little bit breezy. I'm waiting for a breeze. <laughs> Let me figure out which way the wind is. So you can, you can just kind of see in the breeze. We could get a big wind gust. That we've got a front coming in, it's kind of crazy. She's just gorgeous. Let's go back. Okay, so we are back inside with Ellen Villa Touch in Tobacco Rooted. So I hope you can see the uh, variations in the color. I actually think outside, it looks a little darker, a little more like a brunette than it does inside. So that's why I like to take them inside and outside just so you can see the variations in the color and the different lighting. The outdoor light, of course, is very true to what your eye is going to see. So I'd like to show that to you. So anyway, um, as far as styling, she is one of these that you can do all kinds of stuff with. I mean, she's really cute to just clip back. Her lace front is amazing. So if you wanted to just, you know, go on a full, you know, full bump and bump her back, you can do that. Um, she is, uh, 
long enough for a pony and I have put her up in a pony and she looks really cute. You know, you just always wanna make sure you smash your nape down there, but cute for a pony. Cute for a twist with a claw clip. Lots of options. I mean, and if you twist her, or if you put her up, bring down these really pretty little wavy layers at the front, that's just gorgeous. Ooh, why may they wear her like this? I'm going to an event in a couple of nights. <laughs> I may wear her like this to that. Um, anyway, but really, really cute. So she's just full, you know, there's just all kinds of options for her because she's got the length, but yet she's lightweight, she's airy, she's very easy. You can um, tuck her behind your ears. I didn't really cover her ear tabs, but her ear tabs are nice. I, I said whenever I, you know, um, she does have a good sized piece of metal, so it's, I've got great coverage. She's flush against my face, but you can definitely wear her, you know, tucked behind the ears. You could wear her tucked and then in a low pony. She just has, she's just one of those that there's all kinds of options. I was gonna show you glasses. Um, glasses are great. Her ear tabs are thin. Sorry, you get my ring light when I put glasses on, but her ear tabs are thin. So, you know, she's great with glasses. She's been great with my sunglasses. You can put glasses up on your head with her. She's just, uh, I love the density on this wig. I love the fact that she is, she has plenty of hair to cover the cap, but she just has this great natural density and beautiful movement. So I recommend her. I just think she's gorgeous. I don't think I said in the beginning, but I purchased this wig from Wig Studio One. So I will put a link below for you if you want to find it there at Wig Studio One. So thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate all of my viewers. Leave me a comment if you want to. I love to talk back and forth with y'all. So until next time, don't forget you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.